So my son uh, was in second grade, was developing normally. Unfortunately, he had had a series of illnesses. So he had had a couple, and within a year, he had had uh, a strep throat infection. He had had um, influenza at a weird time of the year. And then he had also had pneumonia a few times. After that, I noticed um, a few things with his knuckles. He was kind of popping his knuckles. It seemed like a tick. But then he had an abrupt onset of obsessive compulsive uh, behavior. Um, he had a significant fear that he was going to die, which was completely out of character for him. That lasted a, a couple of days, and then all of a sudden he started ticking, having these uncontrollable movements. Um, and when I say uncontrollable movements, I'm speaking about like a hundred ticks in an hour. And he was um, damaging his neck because he was ticking so hard with his neck. We started to see some real significant emotional liability and um, anger and outburst and rage, which was very atypical for our son. And at first they were just at home, um, these um, explosions, you know, but then they started to affect his school life. Um, we had to pull him from school for some time. Of course, we were alarmed as could be. We're trying to get to the bottom of what might be causing this. I'm so grateful that we had a physician who we reached out to, um, a neuropsychiatrist. We were able to get the Cunningham panel um, pretty early on in his onset. A couple weeks later, I received notice that those results were published and my physician went over them with me and it was a remarkable result in that it really did show that there was neurologic autoimmunity and very likely an underlying infection. We knew that he had recovered from his illness, but he still had this. That's when the abrupt onset of the symptoms happened. So he didn't have a fever. He wasn't presenting like a sick child, physically sick. Um, but with the Cunningham panel, we were able to really identify that he had these circulating levels of autoantibodies. And ultimately, we were able to understand that he had a mycoplasma infection. He had pneumonia, which appeared to be an active infection. My physician really thought we should treat the underlying infection, which we knew now was mycoplasma pneumonia. And so they treated him with antibiotics. Slowly we started to see some recovery. So um, the antibiotics helped quickly with the ticks. Um, but then we also really started to understand his immune dysfunction. Um, along with the Cunningham panel, obviously, um, there were some immune markers that were elevated as well. And so we started to see that it wasn't, um, it was a, re a result of infection, but we also had to treat his immune system. Thankfully, he responded um, very well to some easier immune treatments. And once we treated the infection and the immune system, and then we really started to treat the underlying inflammation, that's when we saw a complete recovery. I'm grateful that we were able to get diagnosed um, using in part the Cunningham panel and also some pathogen labs and that really changed the course of our treatment and really changed the course of our family and, and his health.